Hi there, welcome to another video for first year maths. We're continuing with statistics and now we're going to look at the data handling cycle. So when you're going and looking to create a statistic, this is kind of like the framework you follow and like the cycle. And you'll see how this kind of cycle loops back around onto itself and will pose new questions to continue your study. So you start off by asking a question and you're like, okay, I want to find out information about this. And then you go and you collect responses from a sample. So you go and collect your data and you're like, okay, I'm asking people about whatever topic. Let's say it's people's diets again. So you go off and give out your survey about people's diets. And then you analyze the responses. So once all those surveys come back, you start looking at them and you look for patterns in them. You're like, okay, well, you know, 70% of people have breakfast in the morning and 30% don't have breakfast. Or, you know, 80% of people have three meals a day and, you know, 20% then have either two meals a day or four meals a day. And that's analyzing your data. You then draw conclusions from your analysis. So you can say, okay, now that I've seen the patterns, what can I say about people's diets? That's what you started off with, that question. What can I say about that now from the information I've gathered? And the last thing then is, is there any new questions that I have after learning about people's diets? So maybe you'll be looking at the nutritional quality of those meals and you'll, that'll be a new cycle you'll start. And instead of just asking people about their diet in general, the next time you go in and do a data handle cycle, you'll be like, now I want to find out about the nutritional quality. And it leads into getting better and better information over time and more specific. That's the data handling cycle. Hope you found that useful.